Hey Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision what comic books to buy. Today, fans, we're talking about Harley Quinn and Power Girl, issue number one. That's right, Harley Quinn and Power Girl together in the same comic book. Uh, so this book is written by Jimmy Palametti and the and also Amanda Connor. The book's artwork is done by Justin Gray, uh, and I thought that the artwork in this book was was really well done. Uh, I love the the colors, and uh, here's a cool splash page here with Harley and Power Girl going against some like demon like creature. Um, that was really awesome. There's some cool facial expressions, good action scenes. Some nice exaggerative uh, type of scenes when it comes to like weaponry and explosions and just overall grossness. Um, kind of like the humor you can kind of expect when reading a Harley book or whatnot. Uh, but the artwork was really good to look at. I enjoyed it visually. Uh, again, it's nice facial expressions here by Harley. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, by Harley Quinn. So that was really well done. Um, so what did I think about this actual story itself? Um, first of all, in this first page, it looks like they kind of give you an overview uh, of what's kind of been happening and why our girls here have been uh, traveling. And it looks like that Power Girl has been as uh, has had a, has amnesia, and uh, now they travel to this world, and somehow they need this tow ring to get back. To where they came from um, and they had to see this particular I guess person by uh, paradox or whatever it is wherever the case may be wherever they went to had some kind of talks at the end of it um, and that's pretty much what was going on in this issue um, for me this book kind of went a little bit over my head and they tried to be a little bit too funny with it uh, I'm not used to the chemistry with these two characters being together. Uh, there was some funny moments in this particular issue when it comes to Harley and uh, and and um, and Power Girl being together. But with her being with Harley being in space and just teaming up with Power Girl, it just it doesn't seem like it really fits well for me. They're traveling in this head, and it was just it was just a weird book to read and. Uh, some of the things were humorous when it comes to uh, maybe Harley having this little gun and it destroys, blows up this guy's head. Uh, you know, those interactions were real cool, uh, okay. And some guy, you know, asking for, you know, strange little clown girl and power girl to help them out. But I just didn't find the, the story really intriguing to me. And I felt like I didn't really want to read anymore going forward. And in fact, I really kind of had to push myself to, you know, not enjoy the book, but to complete the book fully because I just felt that at times maybe the book felt a little bit, um, you know, the humor felt a little bit forced and, and maybe I'm just not used to seeing Power Girl in a humorous role. And also, even though they tried to explain what was going on in that first page, I just felt like I wasn't reading a number one issue to me. So I felt a little bit out of place. This felt like I was in the middle of a story arc where I would have loved to see the number one issue here with these two meeting each other for the first time. Um, maybe that's kind of like I was expecting or them going on an adventure. I know they met in Harley in previous issues, but when you have a number one issue, is don't you want to tell your story there in a number one issue, not an adventure that they're always that they're already going through, assuming that you've already read Harley. So uh, it was kind of a rough issue issue for me. I, I didn't enjoy it all that much. Visually, it was good. Some of the jokes made me laugh, but the overall story was weak. And uh, depending on that particular comic book week when issue two comes out, I'm not sure if I'm going to give the next issue a try. So I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way about Harley Quinn Power Girl issue number one. Uh, but just not my cup of tea this time around. So I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. I'm going to give this one a 3 out of 5 stars. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until that next comic book review, you can check out my own individual channel, Comic Book Corner 2.0. And uh, you can check out our live show each and every Tuesday night.
uh, except for this week. This week we're going to be doing a show on Monday. So fans, again, as always, thank you for watching Comic Frontline. And until that co next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye.